it's Michelle and welcome back to the Royal Daily Tea. Now I do apologize for being a little bit behind on the Royal News. You guys, it has been absolutely insane the amount of Royal stories that have come out in the past 48 hours. It is so bad that my nine to five job, my boss's boss, literally sent a message in my company Slack channel asking me what the heck is going on with Kate Middleton. Now this is people in America who do not follow the royal family. So the fact that he's literally asking me to explain what is going on is nuts to me. And I had no idea that my boss's boss even knew I did royal commentary. I'm like, oops, word travels fast, apparently. But the people in the chat at my work, they are convinced she's being cloned. This is what people in America who just read the tabloids and don't follow the Royal Daily Tea. They're not in the know like the rest of you. So you guys know what to do. Sit back and relax. Grab yourself a beverage and let's get into the Royal Daily Tea. So let's discuss the storm in the teacup, the photograph controversy in regards to the Mother's Day photograph that was taken by Catherine, the Princess of Wales. Now it is safe to say that 2024 has definitely been an honest horribilis for the royal family. We had two key members of the royal family battling major illnesses. Now in my opinion, I do believe that Kensington Palace has done a phenomenal job in being very transparent with King Charles's illness. First, they told us he was going to have a prostate procedure, which quickly led into a cancer diagnosis. And ever since then, we have seen many photographs of King Charles. We have seen him walking to church, even behind the scenes, meeting the prime minister, as well as most recently delivering a speech for Commonwealth Day. However, the complete opposite, in my opinion, has happened for Catherine. Now, I do respect her right for privacy. However, I don't believe they've handled it 100% correctly. And now it has blown up into a complete nightmare for Kensington Palace. Now, I will say it was very shocking when we first learned that Catherine, who's only 42 and very, very fit, underwent a mysterious abdominal surgery and was not to come back to royal life until after Easter. That was fine. I accepted it. We're all very bummed. We miss her, but I can respect her privacy and wait for her return. However, the online trolls and conspiracies started happening with the Where is Kate mystery. And I have to be honest, I was beginning to wonder myself because it was very transparent with King Charles. We had lots of proof of life, photographs, seen him walking, speeches, nothing for 70 days with Catherine. I did find that a little bit suspicious. Why couldn't they just release a photograph of her reading a get well card, something of that nature, the same way they have done with King Charles. The man is battling cancer. That is pretty severe. But with Catherine, it was crickets. So then we had the infamous pap pick that was on TMZ and all over America, where the UK press was like, you know what, we're going to respect Catherine's privacy. We're not going to publish the pic because we cannot verify it. And Kensington Palace did not approve it. So again, the press is acting like we're on Catherine's side. We're protecting her. We're honoring her and her privacy. Well, then Catherine releases a photograph that her husband, Prince William, took that she edited, put to her team and released through social media. And then all of a sudden, the press is like, nope, we can't accept it. We can't verify 
the source, which was literally Kensington Palace themselves, pretty much saying they don't trust the palace. And why was that? Because the photograph was taken by Prince William, edited by Catherine, put out by their team, where they completely 100% bypassed the press. Well, they don't like that. Nope. They don't want to be bypassed. So they all ganged up on Catherine and bullied the royal family, putting out a professional kill order where no news agency can use that photograph because now they're saying it has been manipulated. Well, let me just tell y'all, I have worked in Photoshop and marketing for several years. It is very, very easy to mess up a photograph in Photoshop. You can clearly see from anyone in the know, these are Photoshop fails. Catherine made a mistake, but they were not huge mistakes. But they're accusing her of switching out her face with a photograph from the cover of a Vogue magazine where people are literally trying to match it up. Guys, it's the same face. It's the same person. Obviously, it's going to line up. It's the same person. So again, I'm not understanding the scrutiny. In order to have seen all of those Photoshop fails, you literally have to zoom in to 300%. Why were they zooming in on a photograph two to three hundred percent? Why didn't they just take the photograph at face value? In my opinion, the press is angry because they were left out. They couldn't make money off of Catherine. Now they're out for revenge. They want their pound of flesh. But now the royal family's like, nope, we've given you guys a photograph. Catherine issued an apology owning up to making a mistake and you don't believe her. Now you want the original photograph. So no, they're not going to play your game anymore. In my opinion, Prince William was 100% correct when he said you cannot make deals with the press. You give them an inch and they want a mile. This is why the royal family has the rule, never complain, never explain, because you will never win. Now, what I do find ironic, again, was the press wouldn't use that pap pick that was put out last week and many people were saying, oh, it's not her, it's Pippa, it's a deep fake. Again, you don't even have people who think it's her. But now another photograph has come out with a person who took a photograph of William and Catherine leaving their house heading to the Commonwealth Day services. You see William and Catherine turned away from the camera. Now people are saying that was photoshopped, that she wasn't in the car. Well, the actual photographer who took the photograph has come out and said, that's my photograph, it's real, I didn't alter the photo. This is the world we're living in where people don't believe anything anymore. That is why I believe Kensington Palace really should have released a photograph of Catherine a lot earlier and not put the pressure on Catherine to release it herself. I don't like the way they've handled it and I don't like the way she's taking all the blame. They're throwing her under the bus and now she's being bullied online. It is not fair for her to have to go through this while she's healing from a major surgery. But I do find the press very hypocritical how they're acting like the photograph that Catherine gave them is not credible due to the 16 Photoshop fails and manipulations as they're calling it. Meanwhile, how many photographs of Harry and Meghan have we seen that have been manipulated? You know, the one where they announced her pregnancy where her friend literally put a tree in the background that wasn't there. He admitted to putting a fake tree in the background. You're trying to tell me they didn't Photoshop hair 
on Harold's head. They didn't change the hair color of Prince Archie from brown to red on their Christmas card. Literally the queen and king of Photoshop. These two use filters. They change up their photographs. Their photographs are heavily doctored just like everyone in Hollywood and everyone on social media uses a filter. So the fact that the press is now saying we can no longer accept this photograph to Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and saying that the royal family is lying, that the trust to the public has been broken, I have never heard of that happening ever. I cannot believe the gall of the press and what they're doing to the royal family. All because a royal photographer didn't take the photograph? That is why you're coming after Catherine? It's absolutely astounding the fact that the press is now feeding the trolls and the controversy. I really do feel bad for Catherine and William and their children for having to endure this mass amount of online bullies. But again, I find it so hypocritical that the royal press was acting like, oh, we won't put those pat pics from TMZ because we're just so high class. Then you literally rip her to shreds when she hands you a photograph. Make it make sense, guys. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think about this storm in a teacup about Catherine's photograph. Well, guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel, and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.